Okay, so once again, we're back with the two month haul and this is Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bean here, and today I'm coming at you with another two month long haul. So this, these are all of the books that I have hauled in July and August. It's basically the end of August right now. I have not gotten my most recent Beacon Box, so I haven't gotten the Beacon Box for this month yet, but since I didn't haul the June book, that is included in here as well. All right, so I have these all sorted into piles. If you could see what this looks like, it's kind of a mess right now. So basically, I'm going to start with the books that I got from different book boxes that I am a part of, which include Book of the Month, Beacon, and now Unplugged as well. And then I'm going to go into some of my pre-orders for the past two months that I finally got. Um, the books that I ordered from Amazon, two, I got two ARCs this month, or I got two ARCs in the past two months. And then we did head out to Barnes at one point and to Half Price Books, so I was able to pick up some books there as well. And without much delay, I'm just going to hop right into it and we're going to start with my book boxes first. The first book box that I'm going to talk about is Book of the Month. The first book that I got was the July Book of the Month, and that is I got The Shadows by Alex North. I did end up reading this one and I did give it, I believe, a 4 or a 4.5 out of 5. Um, and that will be in my wrap up video, which will be up soon. But I did enjoy this book. I ended up listening to the audiobook for it for a while because I ended up also getting an arc on, or I also ended up getting an audiobook for it through NetGalley. So that was pretty cool. I was able to listen to it while I was reading along, and that really did help with my reading of this book, and I really enjoyed it a lot more then. The next book that I got from Book of the Month was the August Book of the Month, and for that one I got The Space Between Worlds by Micah Johnson. Now this book you may have seen in my anticipated releases for August, and I was so excited when I saw that Book of the Month was offering this as one of their books of the month. So I picked this one up right away. I am super excited to get into it and plan on reading it very soon. This is a parallel universe story about a girl who's trying to figure out what is happening to her counterparts in the parallel universes. And I don't want to go into too much about it, but I am super excited to read this one. And then I also got an add-on in the August box and I got Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar. And I just have heard so many good things about this book and it is gorgeous. So I do plan on reading this one soon as well, but it's just so pretty guys. It's just such a beautiful cover, beautiful book. The next box that I'm going to move on to is the Beacon box that I got for June. And the book that came in that was Seasons of the Storm by El Cosimano. Now this follows, um, a world where all four seasons are personified and in order for the seasons to change they have to kill the previous season and this is about two seasons that end up falling in love and so I'm very intrigued by this one and I cannot wait to see what happens in it. The next Beacon Box book that I got was the July one and the book was Splinters of Scarlet by Emily Bain Murphy. Now this one I hadn't heard a lot about but I absolutely love the cover but it is about a girl who has magic, but every time she uses magic, her veins get clogged with this sort of disease. So every time she uses magic, she literally risks her own life. And so I think that this sounds super intense and super interesting, and I cannot wait to see what this book has in store. And the last book box that I now am getting is the Unplugged book box. I have heard so many great things about this box, and so far I am really enjoying it. I've only gotten one box, but I really liked that box and everything that came in it. And the book that came in that box was Four Seasons at Angelino's, by Caroline McBride. Now, I don't know a lot about this one. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of romances, but this one sounds cute and sounds a lot of fun, like a lot of fun. So this follows a girl named Charlotte who is a food writer, I believe, and food critic, something like that. And she basically goes around the world um, critiquing restaurants and she ends up trying to find love after her last relationship has failed 
and I think this sounds super cute and it just looks like it's going to be a super easy read and I'm so excited to get into this one. All right, the next set of books that I'm going to get into are the books that I pre-ordered and that finally came in the last two months. So the first book is The Foul Twins by Eowyn Colfer. Now, I have nearly all of the Artemis Fowl books. I think I am missing one, and I think it's number six in the series, but I grew up reading Artemis Fowl and absolutely loved the books that came out while I was a child. I haven't read the full series because the full series wasn't out when I was little, so I now have the new covers, and I saw that there was a new series coming out called The Fowl Twins, and I really wanted to give it a shot. So I now have this book, and I am super intrigued to read it. I don't know a lot about it, but I guess that's one of the reasons that I bought it. Plus, I really kind of like this cover. I think it looks like fun. The next book that I pre-ordered is one that I got. The book itself came out last year, I believe, early last year, and I didn't get it then because I have the first two books in this trilogy in matching covers, and I wanted the all three of them to match, and so I just got Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff, but I wanted this UK paperback version because now it matches my editions of Nevernight and God's Grave, so now I have these matching covers, and they are gorgeous, and I cannot get over them, and they're just so pretty, guys, and Oh my gosh, I am so excited to finish this trilogy finally. And the last book that I pre-ordered on Amazon was Forest of Souls uh, by Lori M. Lee. Again, this is another book that I talked about in an anticipated releases video that I did, I believe, back in May, because I think it was for the June anticipated releases, but this book ended up getting a little delayed in the mail and I didn't get it until July. Now, this book follows a girl named Sirsha who is training to be a guard, I believe. And then when after her best friend ends up getting killed, it she ends up accidentally bringing her friend back from the dead. And and so it follows her as she attempts to figure out these powers and when the king finds out he wants to use these powers and it's just it sounds so intriguing and this cover guys like with the orange eyes oh my gosh i cannot get over this cover i am super excited for this one as well i guess it's probably safe for me to say that i'm just excited for all of these books because that would be the truth all right the next two books i'm going to talk about briefly are ones that i got arcs of in the mail and these are just the hardback arcs i did not i am not going into the e-arcs that i got because that would just take all day um and so the first one I got was The Right Sister by Patty Dawn. This follows the sister of Orville and Wilbur Wright, who were the Wright brothers who discovered the who created the first airplane. And this follows their sister, who is apparently just as brilliant and just didn't get the credit that they did. And this is all written in letter form, so that's pretty cool. And I'm intrigued to see how this goes. And the second arc that I got is one that I am actually really excited for, and that is Hench by Natalie Zena Walshkotz. This sounds interesting because this follows a girl who is basically the office manager for a supervillain. And that sold me right there. I am super intrigued about this book and I cannot wait to jump into it, although it's a bit longer than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm intrigued by this one. <laughs> the next pile of books I have are books that I ordered off of Amazon. They aren't necessarily new releases. Actually, I don't know that any of them are very new. One of them's kind of on the newer side, but these are all books that I've been wanting to read and or have been suggested to me that I did end up picking up on Amazon. The first one is a bound set of classics, and that is a uh, book that contains four books by Jules Verne, and this includes Five Weeks in a Balloon, A Journey to the Center of the Earth, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Around the World in 80 Days. I am currently reading Journey to the Center of the Earth. I have never read any of these, strangely enough. Oh wait, that's a lie. I read Around the World in 80 Days a long time ago, back when I was like a wee little tot. I was probably like eight the last time I read any of these. So I wanted to get a full bound version. I have them all marked off because I'm a nerd like that. And I plan on reading all four of them, hopefully within the next month. I just 
really want to read them. I want to know what happened. And I've kind of been looking into grad school and this is some of the stuff that I really want to study. So I don't want to get into that in this video, but I am excited to read these. They aren't too long of stories, but these are very thin pages. So we'll see. And it's so pretty and it's got balloons and it's golden. And yes, I'm very happy. I love these hardbound, these leather bound classic editions. I don't like to buy leather. I really don't. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the way it feels. But for these books, this is how I've started collecting them and I want to keep it that way. So, yep, Jules Verne. The next book that I ordered is The Wolf and the Whale by Jordan, Jordana Max Brodsky. I don't remember if I talked about this last time, but this book was actually one that I saw on somebody's booktube channel and this is Native Americans meet the Vikings. Yeah, it blends Inuit and Norse mythology and right there you sold me on it. These are two cultures that I know a little bit about, not a lot, but a little bit, and I'd really like to kind of delve into this a little bit more. So I am super excited about this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited to read this. The next book I got is one that I got simply because I know the I have read books by this author and have enjoyed them and that is The Supernatural Enhancements by Edgar Cantero. By Edgar Cantero I have read These Meddling Kids and This Body's Not Big Enough for the Two of Us. Something like that. And I think, I think this is his first book. I think so. Don't quote me on that. But I got a used copy. As you can tell, I got a used copy from Amazon for probably six bucks. And so I want to see where his writing started off because I've definitely seen a shift in his writing style in the two books of his that I have read. And I'm intrigued to see how he was before he wrote Meddling Kids. Then, because I had to, I picked up The Adventure Zone. Here there be Gerblins. This is volume one of The Adventure Zone graphic novels written and drawn by Clint Griffin, Justin Travis McElroy, and Carrie Seitch. And I think I have talked about this one before, but it might just be because I read it last month. And I love this podcast. If you have not listened to The Adventure Zone, just stop what you're doing and go listen to it. It is a D&D &D podcast that follows three brothers and their dad who are going into Dungeons and Dragons. They're playing this game for the first time ever, and it is amazing to listen to. It is hilarious. It is emotional. It made me cry. It made me laugh. I just loved it. And now it's being made into a graphic novel series and I am so excited. Like they took the best parts and they made it into an actual graphic novel and I love it so much. So please just do it now guys. All right. And then I also, because I love this book so much, I read it last month. I picked up a copy of Girl, Serpent and Thorn by Melissa Basherdoust. And I loved this book. If you haven't heard my rant about it, you should check out my um, my most recent reads video, which came out last month or at the beginning of this month, it came out. And you should definitely check it out because I loved this book so much. And so I decided to pick myself up a copy of it. Now I did pick up two nonfiction books as well. So I have picked up a blind spot. Uh, Hidden Biases of Good People by Mazarin R. Banaji and Anthony G. Greenwald. This was recommended for me actually on Amazon and so I am intrigued to see and it is about hidden biases that everyone carries and identifying those and figuring out how we can get around those. So I want to read this. This is part of my education process that I'm trying to do for myself as I get more and more into um, trying to educate myself about the world and my own personal biases and the way that I see the world itself. And the last book I picked up from Amazon was Maybe You Should Talk to Someone, A Therapist, Her Therapist, and Our Lives Revealed by Lori Gottlieb. I have heard that this book is hilarious but also eye-opening and I am very intrigued by it. So. I am looking forward to reading this one. I have a feeling it'll take me a little bit longer to get through, but I am still looking forward to it. All right, the next pile that I am going to go into are the books that I bought from Barnes Noble on the two trips that we went there. The first one being Dear Martin by Nick Stone. I have not read this and I just need to, and I have heard really good things about it, and I believe it's being made into a movie. Don't quote me on that. It might not be, but... 
I've heard this one is heartbreaking, but also very informative at the same point, and I do want to read it. And the next one I bought on that trip was Come Tumbling Down by Shauna McGuire. This is book number five in the Wayward Children series, and I'm slowly working my way through it. I own book four, and now I own book five as well, so I should probably try and get one, two, and three. Gotta get work on that. I'm not good at having whole series. I just read them when I get them from the library for the most part. I also was able to pick up the new release of Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir at Barnes & Noble. I am so excited about reading this book. I cannot wait to get into it. I have the first one. I loved the first one. And now we have the second one, which the cover is just as beautiful for the second one as it was for the first one. I also finally picked up a copy of Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Trotsky. This is a book that I have had my eyes on for years and I just failed to ever pick up. And so I finally picked myself up a paperback copy and I cannot wait to get into this middle grade. That sounds absolutely amazing. And the last book that I picked up from Barnes & Noble is actually nonfiction and that is a writing book. It is Writing Fantasy and Science Fiction. And this is by Orson Scott Card, Philip Athens, Jake Lake, and the editors of Writer's Digest. So just a quick little brief here. Callie and I have a project going and this comes into play. So that's all I'm saying, but this is also helping because I am going to be participating in NaNoWriMo this year and I think this book might come in handy for my project, but we'll see. I haven't fully decided on which book I am going to be writing. I have several ideas in the works, but none of them are really fully fleshed out yet. But this book is definitely going to be informational for my writing journey. The last pile of books that I have here, guys, this is the last pile, I promise, are books that I have picked up from Half Price Books in the past two months. Because we have been going out in public, but we have been making sure to wear our masks everywhere we go. Um, but I have gone to Half Price and I have picked up several books. So we're going to go through all of them. They weren't all picked up in the same trip, I want to tell you. This is over the course of, I believe, two or three trips. So the first one I picked up is actually a book that I already have a copy of, but I found, we found a paperback copy of The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. I had no idea that the paperback of this book came out and this paperback is beautiful. It is so lovely. I just, I cannot get over this cover. And I am so sad that I didn't know it was out. And now we do. So now obviously have to have it. The next book that I picked up at half price was Mirror Mirror by Jen Kalonita. And this is, I believe, the ninth book in the Twisted Tales series, which you don't have to read them in order. But basically it takes a classic Disney story and it adds a twist to them. Now this twist is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince instead of Snow White? So I think this will be fun. I have found myself kind of getting more into lots of these retellings lately and wanting to see what actually happens. And this is one I haven't really seen around nearly as much as the other ones. So I'm intrigued to see what happens in it. The next book I picked up at half price, I picked up basically because it's the Owl Crate. Yes, this is the Owl Crate version of Bone Crier's Moon. It's got the edges, it's got the different cover, it has the author's letter, and it's signed. And I got it for $7. So I exchanged the copy that I bought from Half Price Books last time I was there, two months ago, and got this one instead because this seemed logical to me and it is beautiful and I am so excited about this and we were so surprised to see this there but I had to pick it up once we found it so that's just logic right? Then I also picked up a copy of Eleanor Offland is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. I have been eyeing up this book for quite a while since I worked at Barnes actually and seeing as Half Price had it for eight dollars I picked it up because I do want to read this one I've heard it's a good way of stepping into adult contemporary. I also picked up along the lines of adult contemporary picked up The Interestings by Meg Wolzer. Again this one was on sale. I decided to give it a shot because I heard a lot about it while I was working at Barnes and I have always been interested in reading this book and reading some of Meg Wolitzer's 
works and so this seemed like a good opportunity to do so. After that I picked up The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Now this one I have been wanting to read. This is actually on my AB, my ABC challenge for 2020 and so now that I have a copy of it I will be reading it very soon but I, I just know that this is an important and very relevant book that I should be reading anyways. Then, because I could and why not, I picked up Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. I've heard mixed reviews about this book. I really don't know a lot about it, but I've heard mixed things about it. And so because it's me, I decided to give it a shot, see what happens, see what I think of it. The next two books I picked up are the second and third books in a series. So this is a series by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And the second book, because I don't have the, the first book is These Broken Stars. The second book is This Shattered World. And the third book is Their Fractured Light. And I believe this is a sci-fi romance. But I love Megan Spooner and I love Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner's writings. So I figured, why not? This is the second series that I have by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Goodness. And I just want to give it a shot and see how it is. And I'm just looking for the first one and then I can read the trilogy as a whole. And see if I might like some YA romance. I don't know that I will, but we'll see. All right, so I forgot two books and these are pretty important books. I have had a copy of City of Brass for over a year, probably over two years now and I haven't read it, but the other books in the series are now out. So I picked a copy of The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. And I finally got my copy of oh, The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty, and I plan on binging this series. I know Callie has started them. She borrowed my copy of Kingdom of Copper, and then she got her own copy of The Empire of Gold, and she has been saying nothing but brilliant things about this series. So I do plan on giving it a shot very soon. Um, but these covers are just gorgeous, so I had trouble saying no to these covers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are all of the books that I ended up picking up. Hold on, hold on. Thirty-four books is what I picked up in the past two months. So fewer than last time. I think it was thirty-nine last time or forty, one of the two. Um, and so I'll take the thirty-four. I really should stop doing this though. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on these books that I picked up and what you think I should read first or which ones you think I should just be like, hey, maybe not, maybe not so much because I have this habit of buying books and then never reading them. Who would have thunk? But on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't hesitate. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you want to be reminded when we post those videos, hit the little bell icon down below as well. All of our information can be found down in the description as well as some important links. And that's what we have for you guys today. So feel free to contact us, anything like that. And I hope you have a great day. Until next time, guys, stay, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep reading. Bye. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to try and do the, the, the thumbnail. Like, seriously, I put them down and they all kaputted like that. <sighs> Why must my books hate me?